Thank you so much for joining me again on Sidham Church Online. My name is Reverend Kwame Rubadiri. We're looking at the subject of leadership and certainly who is in charge of our lives. One of the things that we've had to contend with and deal with throughout 2020, because so much has changed, so much has been disrupted. We're really not sure who we should put our confidence in as who is in charge and who has the power to change our lives. I want us to think about that for a few moments right here on Sidham Church Online. Please join me after this short introduction. We've been thinking about the whole notion within leadership of what it means to be part of a kingdom, what it means to be under the authority of the King of Kings, of the Lord Jesus Christ. He very emphatically said when he began his ministry here on the earth that he came to preach the kingdom. He came to introduce the rule and the authority of God across all of creation, across everything that you and I know. Now, he wasn't coming to do this in a military way. He wasn't going to fight his way and uh, kill his way through and take charge and take possession of property and put people into slavery. He desired to do this by the willing submission of everyone who would be subject to his rule and be subject to his authority as the king. Now, a king, and most of us don't have familiarity with how monarchs work, a king has absolute authority. That means that whatever the king says or wants is law. It cannot be argued with, it cannot be voted or changed. It, uh, you can make a suggestion, but at the end of the day, whatever the king decides is what goes. It becomes the law of the land. It becomes the way in which we must live our lives. And Jesus came to say that that was the expectation of God, first and foremost internally and individually and then working its way out in our practice, in our behavior, to, into the rest of the world. If there's one thing this world needed to know this particular year, and for some nations it was a very important election year, it was the need to know who can we trust in leadership, who can we put in the position of authority, and what will they in, in, in the end do for us. Christianity turns all of that argument on its head because it says, you do have a king. You have one who has absolute authority. To what degree will you do exactly as he says? And that's been our challenge, even as we've gone through the disruption of 2020. To what degree have we allowed the one who is king, the one who has the power to control every situation, every circumstance that you and I must face, to what degree have we submitted to him and to his authority? Jesus said these words as he began to talk about uh, the kingdom of God, its principles, and the law that he was now introducing to run the kingdom of God upon the earth. He said this in Matthew chapter 7, uh, verse 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. It is doing what God intends, what God purposes, and his will on the earth that makes us ready candidates and ready servants of God, ready to enter into the kingdom of God. He says that many say to me, verse 22, on, will say to me on that day, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons, in your name perform many miracles? And I will tell them plainly, Jesus the King speaking, I never knew you, away from me, you evil doers. Now, we could impact that uh, verse or those verses of Scripture a little more. We don't have the time to do it this morning. But what is absolutely clear is that Jesus was expecting and is expecting even now that we will put whatever he desires, whatever he demands, completely as the priority and as the purpose of our lives. That it is our desire to obey him. It is our desire to represent him, to do the things that are pleasing to him. Now, we could do all those things, cast out demons, prophesy in his name for our own benefit, to build our own reputations, to get as much resource turned towards us. 
not because we want to glorify God. Our decision to be kingdom citizens and to be servants of the Lord Jesus Christ must come from our due submission to his authority and to do everything for his glory alone. There are many things in this life that may pull us in various di directions and, and uh, 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 seek to get our attention. But at the end of the day, the level to which and the degree to which you and I submit to the authority of the King of Kings and to his purpose for this world is the degree to which he will be pleased to use and bless our lives. The question is always going to be, is Jesus Lord and King of your life and mine? In whatever situation you find yourself, is Jesus truly in charge? And if you ask yourself that question in any circumstance, whatever disruption you go through, whatever need you may have, that will truly show to what degree he's in charge and the Lord of your life. God bless you.